Gina with Tennis Genius here with my guy Sonny. Yes, sir. I'm going to do some racket demos today. So we got the Prince Graphite. I think that's the only name. Prince Graphite Mid Plus. And then I got this one. This one was actually a recommendation of a friend of mine who's like a real good player, coach, and like a 5'5 player. He said to try out the Whiteout, the Selinko Whiteout. So he said it's a real solid racket. So I'm going to test this one out. You can see look at the sun right in your eyes. It's going to be wide out. Yeah. Let's go. All right, Broski. Let's do it. So far, i got to say, my friend wasn't lying. The Selinko is a real solid racket. It feels like it doesn't give you too much. It's kind of light. So I haven't really tested it on like absorption of pace yet, but it feels kind of real solid. Like, take a look at this. Yeah. Yeah, right. It kind of feels like. Light, compact. Yeah. Get a bit. It's a Wilson racket, kind of back in the day. Like that. Yeah. It was real solid. And I do, for the life of me, I just can't remember the name of it. It was more rounded. It had a rounded head like this. It was kind of an off. You know, not very popular Wilson racket, but it was a it was a really solid racket. I accidentally went and played with it one time. Yeah. Broke a string, played with it, and I was like, man, this is a really good racket. And I just forgot the name of it after that. But because I was always a Babolat guy, and yeah. now I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the new Babolats. This one's pretty nice, though. Come on, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Well, it looks nice. It looks nice. It's better. You, you like it? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I had to make the switch. Yeah, yeah. Well, you were playing with what? What was the other racket you were playing with? 2012 Head Extreme. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. 2012 Head Extreme. I mean, the Head Extreme has a pretty good racket. I like the old Radicals. Yeah, the Radicals. Like, I think the last really good Head Radical was, like, the Micro Gel. Right? I've been hitting with that recently. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's kind of hard to get power on that racket. But anyway, getting a little off topic here. Uh, the Selenko so far is pretty good, so I'm going to start testing it against some a uh, little bit more pace here, and uh, we'll see. It's a 305 grams. So it's kind of like, it's yeah. like, oh, that, what is that? 10, 10.7. But for a for a light racket, that's that's actually a really good feeling light racket. Usually, the light racket vibrates a lot, bends a lot, and, you know, against the power. So far, this one's doing pretty good. So let's keep testing. is real solid and it, it doesn't feel like it's pulling or pushing in any direction it says liquid crystal technology foam tech core oh a lot of people have been doing that kind of foam and that's uh diadem is also doing the foam and i have you know, I, i've played for so long yet i've focused more on the game than the technology that i'm playing with and now they're all they're all talking about this kind of foam technology where they put foam in the beam the hollow parts of the beam to make it a little bit more stable so diadem is a big supporter of that and slinko i guess is as well i just kind of stumbled upon this racket so far pretty impressed pretty impressed but it may be because i was playing with the wind at my back right I, I, I think it may be so i'm gonna check it i'm gonna check it out now the 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 prince so far is you know it's a prince it's 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 definitely made with the same like that old mold you can tell that looks like an old Prince racket, but it's it's actually a really nice swing weight. It's more rounded on the edges, 
so you could tell that it's you know made for a lot of topspin and two-handed backhand stuff like that so I would rec I would recommend trying that racket out but let's see how it does on four hands against the wind So if you saw us pause for a little bit to do a little left-handed drill, that was for if you're having trouble with your backhand, you work left-handed because that's what it is. If you're right-handed, it's the non-dominant hand that becomes dominant on that two-handed side. How'd that feel for you? I mean, it's the trick of the day. You go, you start righty or righty, go to lefty, changes everything. There you go. It works. All right, so back to the rackets. I like this Prince Graphite, I got to say. So. One main difference I would say is that it absorbs the pace much better. So say you have like a wrist problem or an elbow problem, somebody starts hitting pretty hard at you, it can absorb the pace a little bit more, you feel a little less pain. So there's a physical aspect to it, and that basically means that the racket is more stable. So the benefit of having that lighter racket, which the Slinko is, because the difference between these two is one is 11.1 ounces, this one right here, and the Slinko is 10.7. The Slinko gives you a nice swing weight. So if you're always attacking and you're always early, fantastic racket. That's your racket. But if you happen to be late, like the rest of us, a little bit of the time, then you need a, little, a racket that's a little bit more solid. Now, one way to give you that extra weight that would stabilize it is to put some counterweight, like some lead tape on the inside. So if you did like the Slinko, or if I do decide to get the Slinko or keep it then I'll put some extra kind of weight on it to make the difference but haven't tested all of it yet. I'm going to test it on some volleys next, surface return and surfs. Alright we're going to check out some volleys now with this racket. Both of them test out the Slinko and the Prince on some volleys see how the feel, the touch and the feel is. So, for volleys, I'd say Slinko felt pretty good, but again, it was like an attack. I gotta keep attacking with that racket. And the Prince felt like an overall good feel, so you could attack with it, have some control, and absorb some pace. So I would say, so far, the biggest thing that I've learned is that the Slinko is for a player who's technically sound or that needs power. So it could be for an advanced player, but you gotta be early on your shots, short backswing, things like that. The Prince is also for very advanced players, but it can absorb some pace. So if you're playing big players, or if you have any wrist or elbow issues, that really helps. All right, now we're gonna check out serve and return with these rackets.
So the closeout review, and this is all in my opinion, right? So I played with it, tested ground strokes in depth, forehand, backhand, some slice, fastballs, into the wind, against the wind for control and all that. And I would say in my opinion, and I'm not putting these two rackets against each other, I just picked two rackets that probably couldn't be more different than one another. So the Prince Graphite is, say you're, you know, kind of like a, a baseliner, a grinder. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, hey, it's... That spin, that spin was crispy like a McChicken straight out the drive-thru. <laughs> or if you're a servant volley or you're hitting a lot of things early and clean. Or want a little bit more pop. It seemed to give me some more pop on my serve. It was the whiteout. The Salinko whiteout. So I would suggest that those two different game styles really matter when choosing between these two rackets. I like both rackets. But if I were to say, because... Playing some ITF tournaments and having to absorb a lot of pace, I would say that the Prince Graphite, I would go with that if you're a high level player. Now, if you're anywhere from like a 4 0 to a 5 5, I'd say the Whiteout or the Graphite. But if you're any higher than that and you're playing high level or college, I would say you need to put some weight on the Slinko or you would just need to choose a heavier racket just for more stability. If you have any arm issues or any Wrist issues, the Prince is great, and the Whiteout for power. So, I like both rackets, though. Thanks, this has been uh, Gino with Tennis Genius. Sonny, my man. Mm -hmm. You know it, another day in the life, man. Back in the lab. We are due. Back in the lab.